Hi everyone, this is my final video for my time in Europe and I will be discussing my overall journey and how my hour loan assignments were beneficial to my experience. Um, so the three specific challenges that I did during my stay were observing the Anne Frank house, um, talking to a man from the Never Netherlands, and having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a teacher and Dutch speaking student in the primary school I visited with two of my classmates. So my um, first task in Amsterdam and our time spent um, was in Amsterdam and our time spent observing the Anne Frank House and this was a fascinating and enlightening activity. Um, I would highly recommend it to next year's LTCE group if it happens to not be in the group curriculum because um, I learned more than I thought I would from this visit and it really gives you the actual feel of what it's like um, to be in hiding and the traumatic struggles of the Holocaust. Um, so I would also suggest to future LTCE participants um, to be aware of your surroundings. So I was able to see the tripping stones, which are stones on the sidewalk um, in front of apartments and homes where people lived who were taken to concentration camps. So although our instructors pointed, oops, um, pointed out um, things like this to us, I would recommend being aware um, of history and the culture around you. So this ties into my global competency goals of being aware and mindful of the country that I am in. Um, while in the Netherlands, it is also very important to be mindful of the bike culture and which um, watch the bike lanes. So um, this fits into my inquiry about the uh, bike culture, um, something not so much used in the U.S. Um, it was a large adjustment, but a very interesting one to research and get to see in person. So to continue, my conversation with the Dutch man was especially helpful because I was able to learn about the Netherlands culture in more depth. So um, since he was around my age, it was easier to relate to as well. Um, I was able to talk about things like music, student life, and his questions about our tuition rates in America, so I would highly recommend this as well to next year's LTCE group um, try to, find, to try to find someone in our generation to uh, talk to because it's especially helpful to compare and contrast things back to the U.S. Um, I would not recommend talking to someone um, older unless you're interested in the history and um, things uh, you know, the history of the place that you're exploring. Overall though, I would definitely suggest talking one-on-one -on -one with someone um, who grew up in the area you're visiting because it really gives you more knowledge about different cultures and um, which certainly related back to my global competency goals um, because uh, it is important to not be afraid to branch out to other people who um, are approachable because it just so happens that they may want to learn more about life in the U.S. as well. And um, my final hour loan challenge was a conversation with a primary school teacher um, and some of her Dutch speaking students. So this was a great challenge because it was eye-opening to their different ways to keep track of students' progress, um, such as taking pictures of the children's activities and keeping them in a book. Um, I would recommend to feature LTCE students to um, leading you to talk to not only English speaking students. So one of my global economy goals was to not own myself and explore these new cultures um, from mine. So talking to the Dutch speaking students uh, fulfilled this goal, although it was a difficult for one to me for me to do. So um, participating in other cultures was something I did not uh, that I did. Um, but I could have done more of, so I do not think this common school was fully met. Um, it can definitely be a challenge for everyone when you are so used to your way um, of life in America and doing things certain ways. So um, all of my global closer observations abroad will be an essential part of, as I work with people as a future occupational therapist, um, it is certainly a career path where being mindful of uh, cultural, cultural uh, differences in backgrounds is crucial and I know acceptance in the classroom is a huge thing many of my peers who are starting to become teachers are taking away from this trip um, 
I think as an OT, this is an important takeaway as well, since I will be working closely with all different individuals with different backgrounds and different problems. And among my three hour long tasks, um, a similar theme I've seen reappear is the understanding of new cultures um, and becoming culturally aware of my surroundings. So I found myself be being more and more open to exploring as each challenge presented itself um, to me along the way. So these tasks were unique in their own ways and I learned diverse things from each task but they connected in that I expand my knowledge on culture and so many new ways of life um, abroad. So thank you and this was overall a very great experience for me to become way more culturally competent and aware of all these different backgrounds that people come from and you know since we're so used to um, ways in the U.S. So thank you for listening.